All right, Jose, tell our chefs, please, why you are here today. Today, what you're doing is creating a menu to feed people in need. Firefighters, hospitals, one plate of food at a time. I do believe we can change the world. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank We're going to let you go because I know you're busy. Mwah. Bye, guys. Good luck, all of you. We're turning the Top Chef Kitchen into our very own World Central Kitchen. And you'll be making the meals for hardworking staff at three local hospitals. You'll each have to make 65 portions of a dish that can be packed in to-go containers. Shoto, did you grow up with a big family? It's me, my brother, my mom, and dad. How many family members did you have? So you have nine kids and my mom and dad. Nine kids? Yeah, so we ate a lot of soups. I fall right in the middle. I'm the middle child syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna make kimchi soup with a uh, kind of braised bulgogi style of pork. My intention for the frontline workers, I felt like working on that stress and they're saving people's lives, they probably want that little warm comfort. Damn, this is a hard one. Yeah. Welcome back, Jimmy. Goodbye, Jamie. <laughs> Don't say that. Now we're in four, guys. We're in four, heard. Do you need more spices or? Uh, I didn't know, man. Uh, this is how we cook at home. Spice is nice, they say. <laughs> what are you making? A beef curry? Uh, it's something my dad likes a lot, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is like for your dad? For the first responders of my dad. My dad is a doctor. I know what my dad has eaten in his past at the hospital, and you know, the food isn't always the best. Can you make sure my seasoning is okay on this? I don't want to like blow anyone's palate or anything. Working with different spices, I feel right at home, but I wanted to translate that to the plate in a way that I've, I would find accessible for an audience of first responders. Uh, just got to keep cooking this and then put it away. Everything else should be good for tomorrow, and I'm feeling good. That's your thing. You all right? Yeah, your beef is safe, though. You need a marker. If I get my shit done in time, I'm happy to help you with whatever I can. Thank you. And if not, I still might. Jamie, you're doing good. You got to finish in like 30 minutes. I know. I got to get my eggplant. And they took all the oven space, so I'm going to deep fry it. My first job was at the Chinese restaurant kitchen with my dad, and I see him do like fried eggplant with soy and eat over rice. <laughs> By frying it, it's gonna give me that creamy texture. So when you pour the soup over it, it just becomes like tofu. 15 minutes, y'all. 15. Oh, 15 hurt. hurt. Oh my God. Oh sh. <sighs> Everything's fine. Everything's great. We have to go out to judges. Three. You got this. Keep pushing. Angster, dude. All right, chefs, time's up. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, you're working as a team Thank here. Thank you very much, Shoto. Right. <laughs> wow, this looks beautiful. Well, let's start with you, Jamie. I made a kimchi tofu soup, bulgogi braised pork, eggplant, and steamed rice to soak up all the flavor. I love having kimchi with my rice, so you eat it like a stew. Jamie's soup is delicious. It has the flavor that I was hoping to get from this soup. Putting the rice with the eggplant and pork and then having the soup separately so you can eat it on its own. She really thought through how to package the dish. Yeah. The eggplant's really flavorful. It's cooked nicely. Jamie really crushed the braised meat here. It's not easy to pull off in a couple hours. I think there's some good sour notes in here. You got this, Jamie. <laughs> I made a Bengali style beef curry with chana and cauliflower and basmati rice that I cooked through this time. <laughs> what kind of meat did you use for this? I used beef flank steak. And what do you want the texture of this to be? Uh, so generally we eat curries with our hands. So you gotta have some texture, not like completely shreddy. I actually think yeah. Avishar's rice is cooked properly. He did a good job with the rice. Yep, it doesn't have a ton of flavor. The stew is broken, it's like mealy. It's All of those ingredients you put in there, I can't taste them. No, it's not even a matter of heat, it's a matter of flavor. Where's the curry? Where's the heat? Where's the spice? It makes me question, did he taste this? Do you guys usually use basmati rice? There's a lot of different rices. 